Hi there, Janie Jo Buck Butch here with your morning news. But first, the weather. It's damn cold out there. I hate to tell you all this, but you might have to wear some shoes. Now for our community segment, I have a message here from our very own dear Emma Jean. She says here, Emmett, if you don't keep that damn hog of yours out of my tomato patch, I'm going to stomp a mud hole in your ass. About damn time, too. Truth be told, Emmett, my money's on Emma Jean. But she might have to get in line behind me first, because I've been wanting to stomp a mud hole in your ass for quite some time now. I am sick and tired of your haul rooting up my front yard. More news later, after this commercial break. What? What? I don't see nothing. What? Now you got messing up my hair. Do you know how long it takes to get my hair like this? Well, I don't see nothing, Freddy. I'm fine. It's fine. It's fine. Let's just do the news. What? Freddy, you damn fool. Why didn't you tell me the camera was on? Didn't know we was on the air. Well, you can go back, right? Oh. Oh. That's Freddy. He's talking to me in my earpiece. He does that sometimes. Idiot. Hi, Janie Jo Buck Butch here with your evening news. But first, the weather. I got real bad news for y'all. It's still damn cold out there. You might have to upgrade from your flip-flops to some real shoes. Hell, you might even have to put on a pair of socks. Now let's peek in on our own dear Emma Jean for words of wisdom with Emma Jean. Women, if you're stupid enough to go and get yourself hooked up with a no count, you've got to be prepared for what's to come. First, you got to get educated. There's lots to know. For example, when the roof starts leaking, you got to know how to fix it. And when the plumbing bust loose like Noah's flood, you got to know how to patch it. You got to learn how to hoe. You got to learn how to work the lawnmower. And you're gonna have to know how to run a good chainsaw. Oh, and get yourself a good weed whacker for when you gotta cut no count hair. It'll save you money in the long run. The money's something you're gonna be short of an awful lot. You got to learn how to save money where you can. Because no count ain't never gonna have a job. That's what he married you for, stupid. You'll need some source of income to pay the bills. I recommend a job at Walmart. Get you that there greeting job. You know them people that stand at the door and say howdy as you come in? That job. Yep, you're going to need a job where you don't have to do much of nothing. Because you're going to need all your strength taking care of no count. So it's best to have you a sitting down job if you can get you one. Another good job is that one where people sit in the chair by the exit and check your bags as you leave. Hell, that's even better than that there greeting job. No count's going to sit on his ass all day long and you're going to run fetch for him, so it's your best rest whenever you can. Also, if you're stupid enough to go and have a baby with no count, forget the hospital. You can't afford that nonsense. Nope. So you might as well get used to the idea of birthing your babies on your own. It's not so hard. All you really need is... A couple of clean towels, some boiling water, some strong rope, and a hefty mallet. The mallet's for no count. If he bothers to come into your birthing room, hit him in the head with the mallet. A good wallop should knock him out cold for, oh, about an hour. 
that'll take care of one problem. The rest of the birthing process ain't nothing but a bunch of grunting, screaming, and cursing. Also, get yourself down to that red-headed witch what lives in the woods. <laughs> just call my name. I could swear I heard somebody call my name. Oh, no matter. And get you one of her voodoo dolls. Prop that under no count's nose so when he comes to he gets a good look at his evil ways. That should scare about 10 years off his lifespan. What that voodoo doll don't scare off of him, the beer will take care of. I figure you got about 20 odd years of working your dumb ass to the bone and then you won't have to worry about no count no more. He'll drop dead of a heart attack and leave you with a bunch of bratty kids that'll never appreciate a damn thing you do. And that's my words of wisdom for today. Take it or leave it. But I didn't get to be 77 years old without having me some sense. So you best listen up a tad. Oh my god. Hi, Janie Jo Buck Butch here with your news. But first, HCK Television would like to announce to y'all folks that HCK Television in no way condones the use of a mallet on any individual. HCK Television will not take any responsibility for the actions of any viewer, whether expressed or implied. Well, I'm in this damn town. Moving right along, in our community segment, we have a message from Emmett. Of course we do. What did I expect? He says here, my hog ain't been nowheres off my property. I plead innocent of all guilt in my hog ruining Emma Jean's maters. Emmett, you lying sack of shit. Can't anybody in this hog wall or town tell the truth? The only one that can is that Lila do good. She goes to church every Sunday and never lies, God bless her. Praise the Lord. I get to be on TV. Am I on TV right now? Oh. I swear to all that is holy Emmett, if I have to get Freddy to take his camera down to Emma Jean's to prove that hog of yours is all over town, I will. And I got some more news for you. I got first dibs on your ass now. It is on, brother. I'm gonna Bruce Lee your sorry hide.